Hello everyone and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. And hello to you, Chloe, since now we know your name. I hope you're okay today. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. That is so sweet, Chloe. Thank you so much. And I hate that you look distressed after every time you talk. <laughs> Anyways, um, last time, Mark, oh, Marcus, listen to me. Hmm. Last time, Connor and Hank, um, I keep forgetting his name for some reason. Last time, Connor and Hank went to go meet the Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Um, essentially, well, Elijah Kamsky, uh, the creator of Androids, Marcus, and, well, first, um, when we got over to Marcus's story, we found out Simon is still alive. So we have Simon back in the group, which is actually really cool, because I got really upset thinking that he was just going to be gone forever, but he wasn't. He lived. Um... And then Marcus and all the Deviants marched on Detroit and Connor and Hank were unfortunately taken off of the Deviant case. But that didn't stop Connor By from... By the way, I'm an ST200 model. I mean, I thought you might be interested to know that. That is very interesting, Chloe. Thank you for that bit of information. Um, anyways, being taken off of the case did not stop Connor from going and getting the answers he needed. So, let's just hop back into the game. Wait! Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. I mean, that wouldn't be an awful idea, because everything seems to be in a fairly decent place. But I gotta know what happens. But what if I click no? What would happen if I click no? Would it just leave me at the menu? Okay. <laughs> so at this point, it's just like either continue or just leave the game alone. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Hank's not going to be happy when he finds out. November 9th, 2038, 9.34 p.m. Alice family. Luther is close. Put some tunes to keep us, you know, They've occupied. Been raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. Yeah. It's going to be all right. We're almost there. How are we doing back there, guys? Alice looks cozy. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Yeah, I think that's a better choice. I thought it would just switch to a different song. I didn't think it would switch to depressing news. Okay. Come on, sweet girl. Ooh, we're going to Jericho. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. 
You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. Nope. We got place to be and buses to catch. Exactly. So we have to go. Okay. She just pointed in like a general direction, so I'm guessing it's this way. Would have been nice if we had a vehicle or something, but you know. What will be, will be. Oh. <gasps> what? Right? There's the symbol. Oh, it's a new Connor. Because the other one got destroyed because it was my fault. I'm sorry, Connor. I feel awful. Wow. This thing's freaking huge, man. And Jericho's just hiding in there. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. The cops just gunned them down. I mean, it was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived and... Oh, there's a fire for Alice. No, they're the Can we... Here we go. There you go, Alice. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Probably has a fever, poor thing. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Kara, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. What? We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stay with Alice. Carl, why won't you let him talk? Oh, now we're hot swapping. Oh, geez. Okay, so all of a sudden we're Connor again. Oh, we can't get through it over there. Okay. Um... Mm. Don't catch anyone's attention. Got it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here we go again. No voice. Okay. Um. American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. They opened fire on us, even though we were unarmed. The Russian forces also seem mysteriously. The place was covered with blue blood. Has made no comment for the moment. Don't go down. Okay. So he's up here somewhere. Hospitalization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out. 
Oops. I'm just walking right into everybody because I can't see where I'm going. Marcus? Marcus. Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You're very kind. You're girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Don't tell me you don't like children, Marcus. Okay. Back to Alice and Luther. No. How did I not catch that? You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. <laughs> what difference does it make? It doesn't. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? I don't. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted. And you became the mother she needed. Getting who you are to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Might we have a moment, Luther? I need to talk to my android daughter that I just found out is an android. Kara, is there something wrong? Does she not know what she is? Hug her. Why on earth would finding out she's an android make anything any different? I mean, Kara's an android. Oh, Luther's family now too. I love this. I love our little family. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet.
Never mind. What we did was show them who we really are. That's I it. I want war. No. I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? No regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Exactly. Marcus? So what do we do next? <laughs> um... Dialogue. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. Oh, Simon. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. I mean, he'll be able to find the right words, but I'm the one controlling him, so... <laughs> you know... Thoughtful. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. And we still do it today. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Oh, no wolf. A deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it and to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. No. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. It can't always be about violence. I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Lay a big wet one on her. Come on, Marcus. Who knows what could happen tomorrow? I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Oh. See, that's the problem. You can't you can't fight violence with violence because then it only makes them look bad, like the androids. And it's not going to work for them. Oh. Hey, Connor. Well done, Connor. Mm -hmm. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Don't do it, Connor. She said alive, dude. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice reason what are you doing 
You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Instructions. You're coming with me. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, appeal. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Convince. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Say nothing. Oh, good question. You never oh my gosh. You really are. <laughs> Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Uh, 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 uh so doubts. Do you never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. It's time to decide. Oh, I'm doing it. I want Connor to be a deviant. Oh, gosh. Take this, Amanda. Connor's not your slave anymore. Ha ha ha. Take that, Amanda. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. There's a lot of people running isn't an option. What's going on, Cap? Quick, we've got to get out of here. Mm, Perkins. Go, 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 go. Follow me. Run, 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 run. Oh, gosh. Where are we going? Okay, we are going this way. This way. There must be an exit for the Can't we just pick up Alice? Come in, quick. Go, 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 go. Ooh, come on. <gasps> They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be Oh gosh. Um Oh god. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. The helicopters. They're coming from the upper deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Oh God! We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. Oh gosh. Oh Marcus. Okay. So we got to go down.
Uh-oh. I will press W as long as I have to to save you, Luther. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. You matter too. And don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now, take care of each other. No. Oh. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Hide. the girl we helped in is she just gone there's more down there follow me i guess so Go, 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 go. Don't hurt us. We haven't done anything wrong. Intervene. Oh, go, oh, dang it. Marcus, you saved us. Go now. Hurry. Okay, come on. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. Yes. Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Over there. Oh, yeah. We're safe, Alice. Go, 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 go. Play dead. Get down. Don't move. Please. 
Please don't kill me. Oh, God. Don't move, Alice. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, man. Oh. I think it's safe. Quick, we've got to go. Ooh. Okay. Dang it, wrong button. Come on, Marcus, you got people to defend. Ooh. Okay, probably not gonna have long to get out of here. So we gotta hightail it out. Any second, we gotta get out of here. Go, 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 go. Run and don't stop. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Like, I'm gonna leave north. Full at this. Mm, another Connor. Dang it. <laughs> Run quick. Come on. in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. Order the men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's over, Marcus. It's over for today. Yeah. Because we lost Connor, so Connor doesn't get to... Connor get to, doesn't get to jump with us. Jeez. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff here that was missed. Or at least not missed, just a path not taken. Yeah, another path not taken. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yep, we betrayed Amanda. Yeah, with Lucy, see, my thing is now at this point, because I remember when we first encountered Lucy, I had a problem with just not, her, her voice sounded like it was like a million miles away. Now I just don't hear it at all. So I'm wondering if maybe it's just not an issue with the recording or, well, I don't know about the recording, just the capture. I don't know. It's weird because I don't hear it at all. It's not even like it's a million miles away at this point. I just don't hear it. Wow. Oh, gosh. Cyber Life will send a new Connor. Yeah, well, they'll always send a new Connor, but I will always uh, deviate. I refuse to do it any other way. Driving. Okay. I don't know how else that could have started, but okay. 
Um, upstairs. Oh, something I missed, maybe. Yeah, like I was really going to leave Luther. Jeez. Um, yeah, something that wasn't done, but that would have been a, a very poor ending. Car flees, almost reached the breach. Yeah, there's a bunch of different ways that could have played out if we didn't play dead, but it would have ended poorly, I believe. Yeah, see, if I'd have gone to Alice, that would have ended badly. So just playing dead was the right choice. As much as I would have loved to to comfort Alice, oh, that could have ended very quickly, whatever ending that is, or whatever beginning that is. I guess it all depends on the ending of the previous chapter, if you will. Marcus in the corridor, yep. And again, like I was really just going to leave north. Do you know how guilty I would have felt if I'd have done that? <laughs> November 10th, 2038. 4.17 p.m. What you doing, Marcus? Um, hiya, Carl. Heartful. I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. Conflicted. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. Big decision. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. Emotional. I miss you, Carl. I miss you so much. Yeah, he's one of the only ones that actually treated you like a person. Oh. Hey. What's up? I already forgot your name, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. <laughs> because it's been that long. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Wow, what is happening here? Like the whispers. The whispers feel weird. I'm not sure. Talk. Oh. Hey, North. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants, so they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. Right. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. 
You have to make a choice, Marcus. I wouldn't have been able to live with myself if I had let Noip die. Choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Oh, and Marcus loves you, North. Aww. Okay, so we're just supposed to talk to people. Hey, Kara and I Alice. I was, with us. I was wrong. Oh wait, I just remember something. City while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Just remembered something. We set off the bomb in Jericho. And Luther was still there. Oh my god. I think Luther's gone, y'all. I think he's gone, and I'm going to sob if that's the case. Heidi ho, Connor. You're a deviant, just like everyone else. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. Yeah, but you ended up helping them in the end. I should have guessed they were using me. Of course they were, bud. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. See, the thing is, he... he... Became a deviant in the end, so... Honestly? You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. Exactly. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? <laughs> Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. They will. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. Now. There's a high probability. Maybe. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Yeah. Be careful. We don't really have any options, Marcus. And they do trust Connor. They don't know he's a deviant. So... Is there anything else I can do here? Oh. Um... Oh yeah, I still have two people I haven't talked to. Okay. Heidi ho! If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Exactly. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. We may not have the same methods, Josh, but we want the same thing. I'm in, my man, my boy, my sweet baby. How did you get out of there? Are we gonna get to ask him that? Because I'm genuinely curious. Our 
Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. We're feeling the pressure. <laughs> Inform your people of your choice. Yeah, so there's no one else to talk to at the moment. Well, except for everyone, but... <laughs> okay. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Oh boy. March peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities. Launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Public opinion is supportive, which still makes zero sense to me. Because if they're supportive, why are they looking to destroy the androids? But the last thing I want to do is become violent. I'd like to keep the support of public opinion. I don't want to seem violent. Demonstration. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you violence is not the answer here. It's not. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. Mm. If there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Exactly. Are you ready to follow me? Oh, I think there's... Yeah, see, what I'm guessing is if I hadn't spared Connor, if I said, like, I can't trust you, that probably would have ended in us having to fight or unalive him. Oh, that would have been if it started differently. Okay, I thought I just missed a whole bunch of stuff. Wow, there are quite a few different beginnings to this. One, two... Three, four, five. Oh, you know, that would have started differently if Carl hadn't passed in Broken. I wonder how differently this would... Well, actually, I can't imagine it be too different if Carl was still alive, but... Unfortunately, at this point, there's no way to know that without replaying the whole game. But... Everyone's still happy. Simon didn't seem to care one way or the other about the choice I made, which is weird. And it seems like North almost always would prefer violence because that would be the way to get the point across. But that just, no, that's not right. You can't, you can't live life like that. And what would Connors have been? Hmm. Because you can see... Connor's flow chart, but hmm. again, I imagine you might have only had access to that had Carl not passed, or if you'd have made a different choice. I don't know. Anyways, November tenth, twenty thirty-eight. A national curfew was declared. Civilian movement. Nine twenty-four p.m. Controlled. The right okay. to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids <sighs> must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary yeah. camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. 
I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. Madam President. Whoa. Please. Um. Madam President. Okay. Now we're playing as a president. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! It's a him. Get it right, Madam President. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Whoa, Please. oh gosh, there's... Jericho Assault. About the assault that happened last night. The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Please. Yeah. Madam President. Mm. Madam President. Public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing. The security of the state is another. These Deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be all. Oh. What danger? That's what I want to know. What danger? Everything's been very peaceful. I digress. Oh. Hi. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Hi, do you Connor? Successful. Okay. Go ahead. You know, I really am surprised with how high-tech everything is that they can't tell that he is a Deviant. But I guess if he plays his part well enough... Amanda's gonna be pissed. Hello, one and all. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. Mm -mm. But I have my orders. Connor, this isn't going to work out the way you want it to. I don't think. Just want to make sure there is nothing else to do in the area. Yeah. Agent 23 identified. Connor Android identified. Agent 47 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. Oh, what's going on here? What is this? Oh, I can't look up anymore. Whoa. Wait, I want to see what the statue is. Oh, I can't look up. Dang it. 
Okay. <sighs> Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Ooh, we need to get down to 49. Reconstruct. Let's see. All right, how do we do this? So we go forward here and then kick there. Right. And then you grab his gun. All right. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Oops. Oh. <gasps> Please indicate your identity and destination. Uh Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Heck yeah. Ooh, West Side Industrial, Detroit. 10.51 p.m. Reach the bus terminal. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Okay. Well, that may be the case, but this video is getting a little bit on the long side, so I'm going to have to end this here. I don't want to make this too long. Um... So next time, we'll, we will uh, get Kara and Alice to the bus station, hopefully, and see where the story takes us from there. We're... The story seems to be coming to sort of a peak, so I'm wondering if we're not getting close to the end of the game. Um, because everyone's stories are really kind of converging at this point, and we're constantly switching between people, so... I don't know. I'm not sure how much more we have, but um, I guess we'll just have to find out and see. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It always lets me know that I'm doing something right. And if you think I could have done something better or differently, please be sure to leave it in the comment section below. It always helps to let me know how I can improve and make better videos for my viewers. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. Let's hit the little notification bell so you can get notified of when I post another video. But with all of that said and done, I thank you all for sticking around. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.